If you've ever tried using OBS Studio in conjunction with any real-time magnification utility, such as the live zoom feature of the Zoom It tool, you'll find there's quite a frustrating issue with it. What happens is while in OBS recording, if you want to zero in on the mouse using one of these magnifier apps, you'll get a second phantom cursor that'll appear in the recording relative to the enlarged version, and it kind of follows it around. And what's happening is OBS is still rendering the internal cursor relative to the full display resolution, and the enlarged cursor is actually being digitally baked onto the screen, essentially. And so you get a distracting second cursor, and it certainly does not look professional if you're trying to create a screencast. And unfortunately, I have found comments and posts from people dating back even three to four years ago where they complained about this, submitted bug reports, suggestions to improve it, and everything like that. And I have not seen a solution yet. <laughs> and the general um, argument is that OBS is really not made for screencasting, and there are more dedicated tools like Camtasia and other professional commercial products for creating screencasts. But I disagree with that because I think OBS, coupled with free utilities like the Zoom It utility to zero in on the mouse, can do perfectly fine at creating professional screencasts, as long as we can get over this one problem. So here's my solution to that, and it's pretty easy to do, and I hope it'll help you out. So I'll select Scene Collection New from the top menu and give it a name. I'll just call this Screencasting and click OK. We'll be creating two scenes, one with a cursor and one without a cursor. I'll rename the default scene um, for clarity, and I'll just call it Scene with Cursor. And then I'll click the plus sign at the bottom and add a second scene called Scene Without Cursor. From there, I'll reselect the Scene With Cursor and then click the plus sign under Sources and add a Display Capture. And this is the one you want to add because this will show you everything including magnified options and other apps and utilities that affect the screen. Um, if you select Window Capture, it'll only show whatever window you select and it's not what you want here. So Display Capture will show and record the full screen as you see it. And I will rename that Display Capture with Cursor. And I want to make sure that Capture Cursor is checked and the proper display that we want to capture is selected and then click OK. For the second scene, we'll do the same thing. Add a new source, Display Capture. Without Cursor, I'll name it. And then we want to uncheck Capture Cursor and then click OK. So now we have two scenes. The scene without cursor will allow us to record without the cursor showing, and scene with cursor obviously will show the default system cursor. The idea here is that we'll be able to switch automatically to the scene without cursor whenever we're zoomed in. And that will only then show the pre-rendered zoomed in version of the cursor. Now we can wire up our keyboard shortcuts. To get started, I'll reopen my magnifier tool which in this case is Zoom It by Sys Internals. This is my personal favorite. It's a free portable app, Microsoft endorsed, and it allows you a few options. Um, you can adjust the level of magnification, a few other items here. Um, what we're concerned with is a live zoom tab. And this'll give us a toggle button that we can specify a keyboard shortcut for. In this case, I'm using Control, Shift, Alt, and X, which is just an arbitrary keyboard combination that I know is not gonna be used in a lot of applications. Let's not close this yet though, because if we do, it'll actually take effect and it'll prevent us from setting the same shortcut in OBS. So just leave it open, but inactive. Um, and depending on your tool, it might be different for you, but for Zoom It, as long as it's in view or open, you know, and not down in the system tray, it's actually not active. We'll then click settings in OBS and click hotkeys. And under transition, press Control, Shift, Alt, and X. That same combination we entered in our magnifier. And finally, click OK. Now at this point, we can actually go back to the uh, magnifier and click OK to apply it, but we're not gonna actually run it quite yet. We have one more step to do, and that is to enter studio mode. Now my recommendation, before we click it, it'll just save us one short step, is to make sure that scene without cursor is currently selected. Now we'll click studio mode, and what you'll see on the right is what'll actually be captured and recorded. And so we basically just have to kickstart it by now setting the um, scene with cursor to be the active view and um, make sure under the preferences next to transition, you have swap preview output scenes after transitioning enabled. 
And then all we'll do with scene with cursor selected is hit transition one time. And now we're ready to go. And so the, it'll be set. The cursor will be recorded by default. And as long as OBS is not in focus, so I clicked on the desktop, for instance, the keyboard shortcuts will now work. So if I press Control, Shift, Alt, and X, well, moving, you know, so if I want to zoom in, um, focus on this area, I press Control, Shift, X, and you can see on the right side here, we no longer get that ghost um, cursor. And then when we're done with that and we want to move on, we can zoom back out using that same keyboard shortcut. And then the scene switches back to the scene with cursor. And that's all there is to it. And you can record and capture as normal. And next time you launch OBS, it should be all set for you as long as you load this scene. And you can take it from there. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. Thanks.